Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mac if you're new here. And today I'm gonna share with you one of the easiest ways to get started with print on demand. I'm gonna share with you the full process, what print on demand is, how you can go ahead and create products. If you are completely new, if you're intimidated by designing, this is for you, because I'm gonna show you a very simple way to create designs for these print on demand products. You can start this with literally no capital. It does not require you to buy tons of inventory. This does not require you to have to go to the post office literally at all. If you're new to my channel, I'm Mag. I post videos talking about e-commerce, passive income, lots of different ways to make money online. I have been an Etsy seller for almost four years now, and I'm sharing all of my skill and knowledge with you here on this channel and on my other social platforms. So if that interests you, if you want to get to know all of the different things that I have to offer, you can follow me and subscribe to the channel here on YouTube. So if you're new to print on demand, a little background is this is a process in which you are partnering with a print shop or a print provider, and you are going to be selling their white label products with your created designs on them. So you will create designs, place them on these white label products and sell and market them on your own online store. And anytime that you get an order, this order is gonna go directly to your print provider where they will print it, pack it, and ship it directly to your customer. So this business model requires no inventory. So first we're gonna start out by going to printify.com. This is where we are going to source our product and print provider that's going to be print packing and shipping for us. And this is how we're gonna choose the products that we want to sell. So I'm on Printify's website right now. As you can see here, it's super easy to create an account and it's free. So it will be linked in the description for you. You do not have to pay anything until you sell something. So you, this doesn't cost you anything to create this account. And you can go on here and just check out all of the things that they have. So these are all the categories for the products that they have. So literally everything, mugs, glassware, home decor, bathroom, car accessories, travel accessories is a huge one. If you're completely lost and you don't know what kind of product you wanna sell, just go ahead and start, pick something, try it out and then later on you can go back and make changes to it but the overall idea of like starting is the scariest so that's what you need to get past so i'm under the travel accessories option here so i'm gonna click on this pouch and then once i'm here i'm gonna analyze this product for a minute so i'm gonna see what it has available so it has multiple sizes um, and then it's assembled in the US. And then I'm gonna scroll down here. So this is where it shows the print providers that are able to print it. Printify has tons of different print providers located all over the world. So depending on your location, you can find a print provider that's closest to you or closest to the market that you wanna to sell to. So if you're located in a different country, but you wanna to sell to a different country, you can do that. And this is the rating for the print provider. So I never go below 8.8. .8. That is my number for any time I'm looking at products on here. And then I'm gonna see the price here. So it's starting at $6.52 and the shipping is around $4. So that means that the product's cost is around $11. Production time is separate than shipping time. So keep that in mind. Three is good because shipping is usually four to five. So they should have their product within a week-ish depending on the day that they order. So this is really good. If you keep scrolling down, it'll give you more information about the product. This is good to know so that when you create your listing um, on your e-commerce store, you'll have a bunch of information about the product. So I'm gonna select start designing and here's gonna be a layout of where we need to create designs for this product. So I'm gonna go down here to the size dimensions. So if I was making my design in Canva, this would be the exact dimensions of my artboard. Now we're actually not even gonna be using Canva today. We're gonna completely eliminate the step of a design platform. So like, again, super low cost to start this because you don't even have to pay for Canva. So we're going to be using patterns. Now, when you pick products like this accessory pouch, it's super easy to just use and fill the space with a pattern. And then we can get creative in adding text over that pattern if we want to, or we can even offer custom listings with that pattern. So it's a very simple way to create a base design that we can later build off of and go on off of. So we're gonna be using a website called Creative Fabrica. Creative Fabrica is an online market that you can purchase fonts, designs, graphics, interiors, literally anything you can think of. 
and you can download it. So any kind of digital product that you want to use, sell, create with, we're going to be using that to source our pattern. So up in the search bar here, I'm going to type in citrus patterns. And then this is going to bring up a bunch of different patterns that are already created for me. Now, the major and important thing to remember here is that we're going to be using this for print on demand. So I'm going to go over and select this special license for print on demand. That way I know that the graphic I'm downloading can be legally used to sell on a print on demand product. So I'm just going to scroll through here and find one that I like. And then once I see one, I'm going to go ahead and click that again. It's going to say that this has commercial and full print on demand usage rights allowed. To download on Creative Fabrica, you will need an account. I do have a link for you below where you can get your first 10 downloads for free. They have so many different other features as well, but I use this literally every day. Check it out. You can download them and use them to get started. So again, if you use Printify, which is free to sign up with, and you use this with the free downloads, you're golden. You haven't spent any money yet. So I'm going to hit download. Load. And as you can see, it goes right down here to my screen. So now I'm just going to drag and drop these patterns directly into the artboard here on Printify for that product that I was designing. So you might be wondering, okay, but if I do the pattern that big, that doesn't look good. I'm going to show you a hack that is going to make this super easy. So I'm going to bring this down to the size that I want it. And then I'm going to head over here and select the create pattern button. Boom. Look at that. <laughs> I'm just, it's so exciting. I'm like such a nerd about this. As you can see, it just created a pattern for us and there's other options too. So like the spacing, if we wanted to, you know, change it up a little bit. Um, if you want to change the grid pattern, depending on what kind of pattern you have, this one is a white background. It's not transparent. So it's kind of more difficult to play with the different patterns, but you can even create a pattern with one word or, you know, one design that you create. So now I'm going to go up here and I'm going to hit the preview button. This is a mock-up for what the product is going to look like when Printify prints it for us. So this is what we're going to be showing our customer to say, Hey, this is the product that you should expect. This is the product that you're going to get. And like, look at this beautiful. And I've ordered and sold accessory pouches from Printify. I really like these. Um, I've done them with a personalized store. I do have a video that completely goes over how to start your own custom stores. If you want to check that out, it's how to do personalized stuff. So if you, if somebody wanted to buy this with their name on it. So if you want to see how to do that, definitely check out that video. We could just sell this as is and market it as a European summer travel cosmetic bag. Or if you want to get crafty, we can head back over and add another design on top of it. So whether you have, you know, a design that you've already created, obviously this one's not going to work because you can't really see it, but you get the point of what I'm saying here. You can add in another design on top of the pattern, or you can even add in some text because Printify offers custom text. So I'm going to click the custom text button. Oh necessities. And then I'm just going to play around with this until I get it the exact way that I like it. Printify is really good about showing you when things are centered, if they you know look good, the quality, all of that. Um, you can even put emojis. And then what I'm going to do here to get a background on this is I'm going to hit copy. And then the one that's in the front, I'm going to make a different color. So that way it's going to have a drop shadow behind it. You can kind of see it here. These colors aren't really working with me very well, but I'm just trying to show you the overall idea of what you can do. So an important step in all of this is where exactly you're going to sell your product. Now that we've created a product on Printify, we can sync this directly with our e-commerce store, and they have multiple different platforms that you can do this with. Under the store tab here, you can see all of the different sales channels and e-commerce platforms that you can link with your Printify store. The easiest, in my opinion, is starting out with Etsy. Etsy is an e-commerce marketplace, which means there are already active buyers going to this marketplace with the intent to purchase something. Now you can absolutely create your own website using Shopify or using Squarespace or WooCommerce, BigCommerce, but just know that there will be marketing involved to get people and traffic to your online store. I have lots of other videos going in depth on how to actually set up your store. So I will leave those linked for you so that you can check those out to do the next step for this process. Once your store is synced with Printify, this makes the uploading process 10 times easier. Once you hit publish, that's going to go directly to your Etsy shop or whatever store you choose to connect. 
And then anytime you receive an order on that shop, it's going to be sent boom to Printify. They're going to get it and start creating your order. So this is pretty passive once it's set up because again, you don't have to physically create that product. You just make the product online in a mock-up to then promote it and get sales. And then Printify is going to take care of the rest. You can then start uploading multiple products on your store and then looking into your SEO and pricing strategy. So getting started and creating these designs, in my opinion, is the more difficult part because you're going to have to figure out what you want to create, what kind of audience you want to sell to, and all of that. So like I said, I will have those other videos available for you in the description to help you get started. And of course, both Creative Fabrica and Printify will be linked in the description below as well. I really hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I will see you in the next video.